Hello guys, welcome back to this new video. So this is Morphe City, as many of you have requested, and I'm a it okay, so let's get started. I wanted to start by um, a peculiar, a particular section of Morphe City because I've been told that it's a very, very gigantic, it's a very huge game, and I wanna see whether it's too touch a engine or I could do it. So let's go. We're live. Start talking. Welcome, my dear friend. Before you start the naughty journey into the land of porn, I must tell you a few things. In this game, by Exter, you can expect... Wait, has that idiot created another game already? The fuck is wrong with him? Did you even finish the last one? What? Speak louder. As you see, my ears are not so big. Xmas episode? Not a new game? Oh, no, I, now I understand. Welcome, my friend. The Xmas episode of... Murphy City. I mean, I'm not really using my my voice to read, just because I I guess from the shape of its body that it's a man. Wait a moment. Let me look at you. I could swear I already saw you. Yeah, that's right. I've already told you what you can expect in this game when you are playing Murphy City. Animated scenes, map movement, inventory, etc. Do you remember now? Good, so stop wasting my time and start playing already. Shoo, shoo. What's your name? I'll go up with the same one. Or maybe, um, um, wait a second. I'll go with this one. <laughs> I don't know why. At least there's 2K, which is signaling it's me. That's my very, my very special uh, sign mark, I would say. God, it's really winter already? Time has flown by. It seems like only yesterday I was switching out Sarah's controller for the faulty one so I could beat her. Has it really been five months? It's one of the coldest winters I've ever had here in Milford City. In some parts of town the snow fell right up to Sarah's waist. It's not that bad though. School kept getting temporarily cancelled as teachers struggled to make it into town. Eventually, the headmaster just gave up and called a three-week unplanned vacation. Ever since he did that, it feels like the whole town has come to life. Everywhere you look, there's people having snowball fights, people building snowmen, heck, <laughs> some of them more ambitious guys than even attempting to construct igloos. What did I do to kick this crazy year off? It wasn't the video gaming with Sarah. Stuff had been strange long before that. Maybe it was the time Sarah, Lily and I all played Spin the Bottle? <laughs> Sarah hated all that. And hated that day. She really turned out to be the jealous type. This all started before then, though. It's ironic, really. All of these romantic interests I've had have arisen from me falling into asking out as a woman. What? Sorry, I read uh, as where there isn't any, so... Failing to ask out a woman. Sorry, I'm, you know, reading too fast. Tubby! If I'd never asked out Mrs. Celia, then I'd never have had a nervous breakdown. I guess, in a weird way, her rejection helps me move a little bit on with my life. Boo! Oh, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack, Sarah. <laughs> Sorry, I was asking you questions over and over. You seem to be in your own little dream world, though. Yeah, Sorry. I was just lost in thought. What's up? Oh, what were you thinking about? Nothing much, just remembering everything that's happened over the past year. Cool. What's your favorite moment? Having trouble deciding. There's been so many. It's been really an eventful year. Well, while you're thinking, how about we take a ride on that? Huh? Look, over there! Huh? Where would that come from? Some guys must have left it behind. Come on, Toby, let's go sliding. <clears throat> well, it's not our sleigh, though. And Linda was expecting us home ten minutes ago. Please, Toby, we'll bring it back right here when we're down. No one will even know that we've taken it. Um, yeah, skip this character. I don't know, let's do it. Maybe you'll like her. I'm very new to this game, so I don't really know I'm not confident enough to make decisions so i'll try to engage activity with each of them fine i guess linda can wait a little bit longer let's try this layout 
Really? Of course. I love you, love you, love you. Mm. Holy crap. Can I go in the front? <laughs> sure, Sarah. Whatever you want. Yay, yeah, just hold on to me tight. I don't want to fall off. <laughs> don't worry. I'm not gonna let you hurt yourself. Whee! Oh my god. This sleigh is going so much faster than I, what I thought it would. Snow must have compacted into solid ice around this part of the city. Oh, look! A house! Oh shit! A house! Crap! How do I slow this thing down? Ah! Shit, if I slam my feet down, I'd either snap my ankles or send us flying headfirst into the wooden cabin. Toby, do something! Fuck it! Here goes nothing. I'm gonna have to risk hurting my ankle. It's better than Sarah hurting face first into those wooden planks. Ah! Mm, fuck! Come on, stop you bastard! No, 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 no! Oh, fuck! We're still going too fast. Ooh. Ooh. We made it! That was pretty fun. Let's do it again. What? <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Toby. I think I've had my fill of slaying for the whole winter. Yeah, me too. What is this place, though? I don't think I've ever seen it before. Hmm, I don't recognize it either. It just looks like an old log cabin. Probably belongs to some rich folks who use it as a holiday home. We must be way off the trail if neither of us recognizes it after living in the city so long. I don't know, Toby. This wood looks pretty old. I thought rich people would have had a nicer cabin than this. Maybe you're right. Could be just an old dilapidated cottage from the early 20th century. It's really... If it's really one of those, I'm surprised that it still has standing there after all this time. Shall we check it out? Yeah, why not? Hello? Anyone home? Doesn't sound like it. Hey, what are you doing? I was gonna push the door open. Wait! What if this is like one of those haunted places you hear of, you know, with ghosts and stuff? Ghosts and stuff? You don't. You can't be serious right now, right? Do you believe in that? No, no, of course not. It's just. This place might be really creepy inside. How about I go first then and scope it out? It's scary, then I'll let you know and we can just go home. Okay. Be careful, Toby. Be fine, don't worry so much. Mm. Yeah. This place is abandoned. It's not scary, Sarah, just rather dusty. Oh, okay, I'm coming now. Yuck, you weren't kidding when you said it was dusty. I wonder how long it's been since someone last visited here or lived here. They were clearly prepared for a long winter. Just look at the amount of wood is stockpiled. Huh. <laughs> Only one cheer. It must have been someone living by themselves. I suppose someone could have been here in the past year. But why would they just have left this place like this unlocked? Homeless people or drug addicts could just winter in. It doesn't really bother me if homeless people use places like this. Really? Why? It's not their property. Look outside. This is the coldest winter in decades. This place clearly isn't being used by whoever owned it. At least they could offer the horse off some shelter. Okay, so it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it isn't their house. They can just break in and sleep in the place. I guess you're right. No one is at it. Okay. I guess you're right. If no one is actually living in it, then there's no harm in people seeking shelter from the cold. I'm just glad I'll never have to sleep in this musty old place. Just because I think that's the more logic answer. I mean, if you were desperate enough to break into a place, it mean, means that... You really have real big problems with the cold, and there's there's a survival matter, so that's, I guess, that's just more important than anything else. You know what, guys, I'm going to close the video here. Hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.